Howdy, howdy. Welcome back. This is Mr. Homers with a help video for the homework on multiplying and dividing fractions. So the uh, first part, just a uh, throwback from yesterday, we are multiplying fractions. So our strategy is we're going to regroup whole numbers when we have them and get the whole number back into the fraction by multiplying and adding. That means we're going to take the denominator and multiply by the whole number and then add the numerator. So that's going to be 4 times 1 is 4, and then add 3. So 4 times 1 is 4, and then 4 plus 3 is going to be 7. Then the denominator stays the same. So now we multiply straight across. And this is going to be 7 times 1, which is 7, and 4 times 2, which is 8. So Dominic, li Dominic lives one and three quarters miles from his school. His mother drives him halfway there. How much further does he have to walk? It's seven eighths of a mile. Katoni bought two and a half dozen pencils. There's 12 pencils in each dozen. How many uh, pencils did Katoni buy? We're going to multiply. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 plus 1. So we've got 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 would be 5. So all this goes over here, and then the denominator is 2. So we're going to multiply 5 times 12, which is 60. And then 2 times 1, which is 2. So this is going to simplify to 30 pencils. So from our math lesson today, we're going to be dividing mixed numbers or multiplying by the reciprocal. So the first examples here, we're going to regroup and then find the reciprocal. So we got 20, uh, 2 times 10 is 20, and 20 plus 1 is going to be 21 over 2. So the reciprocal is when the numerator and denominator switch places. So that would be the reciprocal of that fraction. So 7 times 6 is 42. And then we add the numerator. So this is 45 sevenths. The reciprocal, the 7 is going to go up on top. And then the 4 is going to, 45 is going to go on the bottom. So that would be the reciprocal of that fraction. And the last one, 9 times 2 is 18. We got 18 plus 8 which is going to be 26 over 9. So the reciprocal would be 9 over 26. So now that we are good, we are clear on what the reciprocal would be, let's practice. There's six problems down below. So dividing fractions, our strategy, we're going to divide by uh, let's see, dividing by a fraction is equal to multiplying by the reciprocal of the second fraction. And from fifth grade, your teacher may have used the strategy, keep, change, flip. So we're going to keep the first fraction the same, change this to multiplication, and then flip this fraction over, which is the reciprocal. So now we multiply 8 times 6. It's going to give us 48. And then 10 times 5, which is 50. Uh, I believe we can divide both of these by 2. So 48 divided by 2 is going to be 24. And 50 divided by 2 is 25. Uh, that would be our simplified fraction. So going on to number 2, keep change, flip, you got 2 over 1, 
times 7 over 6. Now we uh, have the reciprocal. We can multiply straight across. 2 times 7 is 14, and 1 times 6 is 6. So 6 divides into 14. So if we divided that, 6 goes in there two whole times, and then 2 times 6 is 12, and there is 2 left over. So 2 is our whole number, and then the remainder is 2 out of 6, and that simplifies to 2 and 1 third. Our third example in the top right, going to regroup. 5 times 2 is 10, and so 10 plus 3 is 13, and the denominator is 5. So we're going to keep the first fraction, change to multiplication, and then flip the other fraction over. So now we are ready to multiply. 5 times 3 is 15, and then 4 times 3 is 12, carry the 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So we have 52 divided by 15. I believe that's going to be 3, 3 times 5. 15, 3 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is, uh, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So we subtract to find the remainder. So this remainder is going to go up over here, go uh, as part of the fraction over 15. So this is equal to 3 and 7 fifteenths. We are continuing to regroup. 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 plus 1 is 9. The denominator stays 2, and 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 3 is going to be 19 over 8. And then we flip this over. So keep, change the multiplication, and then flip. So now we multiply straight across. So 2 times 19 is going to be 38. And then 9 times 8 is 72. We got 72 divided by 38. Let's see, I believe that would be too much. Only 1. 1 times 38 is going to be 36. So this is equal to one whole number. And then 36 out of 38. And then we simplify that. Divide by 2, divide by 2. I believe that's going to be 16, 17, 18, 18, 18 out of 19. We got 8 times 5 is 40, 40 plus 5 is going to be 45, 2 times 3 is 6, and then 6 plus 1 is 7 over 2. So we flip it over for the reciprocal. And then we multiply. 45 times 2 is going to be 90. And then 8 times 7 is going to be 56. We can divide this by 2, and that's going to be 20, 
8 So now we got 45 divided by 28 it's going to give us one whole number and we subtract 7 I believe we should be left with 1 and 17 28 All right, and for the last part, keep, change, and then we're going to regroup before we do the reciprocal. So 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 5 is 21 over 8. So we're going to do the reciprocal. Keep, change, flip. Now we multiply straight across, multiply straight across. So that's going to give us 105. And 4 times 8 is 32. And I don't believe any of these factors are going to work here. That so should be simplified.